how's your day going? Good. 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 Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. 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 It was a rush, but it was good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well. No. no. First no. time. We're, yeah. Welcome. First time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> yeah. Feeling insane to, sh to come to Comic Con with such with natural treasure. It's like pretty nutty. It's it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. To kick it off, I want to uh, ask you, Lisa. Um, what do you share about Jess's journey into the world of national treasure, and in what ways did the immigrant experience inform your inspiration for the role? Absolutely. Um, so, for for starters, you know, we see Jess Valenzuela, who is Latina, and she obviously, you know, doesn't have her American citizenship. Um, but we, it's told from the perspective of the young woman who is, you know, very tenacious and she's intelligent and she, you know, has a big heart. And so I think, um, you know, for audiences to be able to be exposed to a different American experience, because this one is, is you know, true and it's worthy, um, is really cool. And it's such an honor to be able to play somebody like that, you know, because even growing up, I, I never really saw myself reflected in a way. And so even though for me, you know, I am, an American citizen, but it just truly was an honor. Yeah. Uh, we've heard that uh, that you had both seen the, you know, the original two movies before the, the series. But how uh, how familiar were you with the mythology? Did you have to go back and watch the movies, or were you did you go into it? Uh, oh man, I my brother and I watched the movies religiously growing up. Like uh, like I remember when I first. Got the call that it was mine. I'm sorry, Disney, because <laughs> I called my brother and told him immediately that it was mine. Uh, and he just started freaking out, man. It was such a cool bonding moment. Um, yeah, these movies have been a huge part of my life, even before getting it. Um, yeah, it was just, I've always said it's, it's kind of like, if you see this movie on TV, or at least in our, like, for my brother and I, it's always been, you watch the whole thing. It doesn't matter where it's at, we always watch them, you know? And so, yeah, it's always been a staple of my life growing up, so I didn't have to do too much research. <laughs> the beautiful part about the films, I mean, you know, I would re-watch them even while I was filming the show, uh, because it kind of kept me in tune with the tone that, you know, we were still trying to keep alive in the series. Um, and I always found different things every single time, and I think that's the beauty about it, is that there's just so much um, in one film in terms of romance and drama and action and, you know, revolving around American history. Um, yeah, and that all plays in the series, so it's a, it was a really cool, cool opportunity. <laughs> so what's more fascinating? the action stunt work or the puzzles that you have to solve? Oh man, hitting us with a hard one. Um, well, I gotta admit, like I'm a little biased, but I think we have some of the coolest puzzles to date for National Treasure. I agree. And then I also think we have some of the sickest stunts. So I, I, um, I, I personally love, um, I love the puzzle aspect of it all because, you know, it all really continues on from episode one. So the challenge for me to play my character too was like making sure I knew what I was saying. So like I would spend a few hours like just, you know, prepping the night before being like, okay, so this one points here and that one points there and that is why we're doing that and that's how it connects. So I think for me that was just art, like artistically that was a really cool uh, thing to dive into. Yeah. You know what? I agree. I'll go with the, <laughs> we do a lot of cool stunt stuff, but I'd say just the puzzles and the clues in this show it, would, it, it was so cool that when we'd get them in the script us as a cast would like kind of spend time being like what does that actually mean <laughs> like you know um, yeah I'd, I'd go with you yeah, I agree I think yeah. the puzzle is and a, for this one another thing I'll say that I haven't said yet oh. um, but it's you know to like not, not be a spoiler <laughs> is that you know with Jess in particular we get to dive into her mind Oh yeah. yeah! She figures it out. Oh, so that's we'll good. You haven't to... said that yet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are a special table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the subject of puzzles, uh, the, on, during the panel, it was announced that you know certain places like the Alamo and Graceland are going to be explored. Yeah. What can you tease about um, sort of like what how these two things kind of come together, or just even? Any fun facts that you were surprised to learn from either place? I'm like, what spoilers uh, can be not? Not Disney, uh, Disney is um, um, I'd say uh, the Alamo is rich in history. Yes. Right? Very rich in history. Yes. So rich in history. There's <laughs> yeah, so just much so much history in that place. There's, and there's a lot of secrets and, uh, at so Graceland. Secrets. So many secrets Gra And Graceland, Graceland, you know, it's just like... <laughs> 
Let's, let's just say, let's just say, Graceland is leveled. There's Level. a lot of there's a lot of levels, levels at Graceland. Oh, Graceland. Lot right? of levels. There's a lot of levels. And once you guys watch that episode, you'll understand what yeah, we're talking so, about. But so, there's so many levels that yeah. we wouldn't have expected. And there's just at so much room to have fun at Graceland. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the immigrant I think it's interesting to use that as a way to go into a history that isn't really taught very much. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get a little bit in the other movies, but this is. Latin American history is not really taught, especially in American schools. Exactly. So how important that is that to your character and what the people are that you may not have seen? Yeah, um, so, you know, my parents are from Mexico. Um, I'm like a 1.5 generation, you know, Mexican-American. And so I very much grew up with the sense that, you know, I'm, I'm proud of my, my roots. And, uh, you know, that wasn't always reflected in school. And so I think for me, you know, to be able to feel confident in the characters that I'm playing and just be proud of the, the conversations that are going to be starting by seeing, you know, a young Latina who is a dreamer, um, you know, because that, that really is all, all it's about. Um, when I first got casted, it was actually like a little bit of fear that like people would kind of come after the thought that this story is going to revolve around a young woman um, who is Latina and I think for me I, it was my truth and so I just was honored to be able to to get into it and you know other things that I learned I explored a lot of um, you know I explored a lot of Mexico right before I came here and so to learn a lot about the indigenous culture and who they were before uh, you know Cortez and all of his people came over um, was really brilliant and so that only grounded me more in who my character was and how I accurately wanted to depict this young woman who is capable of so much, you know? Yeah. Oh, let me throw this last question for, uh, for, for both of you. Is, uh, are you good escape room partners? Did I call you up if we ever do this stuff? You know what? I, I think I might be. I think I might be. I give all my energy, you know? Would I be good as Jess? Like, good as Jess? Just as good? No. <laughs> I cannot solve puzzles as quickly as she can. However, I will give you my all. And I think that matters and yeah. counts or something. And I'd make sure we had a really good time. You know what I mean? I'm like, if we're doing a group project, she'd probably show up and talk about it. But I'd be like, you're doing great. You know what? You know? And <laughs> you just gave, we gave you the answer that no, we're not good people to call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we Put us at the bottom people. of the roster, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you guys much.